Hi everybody, it's Bobby from Fifth Avenue Cakes, and I've partnered with Cookie Cutter Kingdom to show you how to decorate this elegant engagement ring cookie. All of the cookie cutters plus the supplies are given in the description below. So let's begin. Starting with your plaque cookie, go ahead with a number two nozzle and some champagne colored royal icing of flood consistency. Outline your cookie and fill it in. Now use your scribe tool to evenly distribute your royal icing. When you're finished, put your cookie in a dehydrator or in front of a fan for two hours and then allow the cookie to dry overnight. This is the black cookie cutter that I used to create the cookie and the diamond cookie cutter that I used to create both rings. I went ahead and transferred them onto some tissue paper and then transferred that to the cookie. Using an edible fine marker, just trace your engagement ring. Now with a number one nozzle and some, so some flood consistency royal icing, outline the diamond part portion of your ring and fill it in. Use your scribe tool to evenly distribute the diamond portion. With the number two nozzle and some gray blood consistency royal icing, go ahead and outline the band to your engagement ring and the interlocking ring. Allow that to dry for about four hours. Now let's add the detail to the diamond with a number one nozzle and some soft peak royal icing. Outline the diamond and add a few of your lines to resemble the cuts that make the diamond so brilliant and beautiful.
with a number two nozzle and some stiff consistency royal icing. Begin piping a zigzag motion in the shape of a blossom. We're going to be brush embroidering a half blossom on the corner of our cookie. Use a dampened brush to bring down your royal icing. Pipe a little bead at the bottom corner of your blossom. Now repeat that exact same pattern on the opposite corner. Pipe some fleur de leases on the other corners and the point of your plaque. Allow this to dry for about 20 minutes. With a little bit of silver dust mixed with Everclear or high proof alcohol, paint your bands silver. This is to resemble the platinum of the bands. Now with some pearl dust and some high proof alcohol, paint your diamond. Don't forget to get inside and the cut lines that you put on. Paint your fleur de leases and your brush embroidery at that same time. What engagement ring wouldn't be finished without a little page diamonds on the band? So go ahead with a number one nozzle and pipe a few beads. When those dry, you can paint them with the pearl dust. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.